The missing chapter in Australia's most shocking political scandal has finally been revealed. Well, may we say, God save the Queen. God save the Queen. Because nothing will save the Governor General. Secret letters between the Queen and then Governor General Sir John Kerr that potentially brought down a Prime Minister have been released in full to the Australian public. The correspondence surrounding the dismissal of the Whitlam government in 1975 reveals Sir John Kerr dismissed Prime Minister Gough Whitlam without first informing the Queen. In a letter to the Private Secretary of Her Majesty, Kerr wrote, This was a matter for Australia. I decided to take the step I took without informing the palace in advance. It was better for Her Majesty not to know. And the palace agreed. The letters had previously been locked away in our own national archives, kept hidden from us by the Queen for over 40 years. We've been writing the history of the dismissal in effect with one hand tied behind our backs because we haven't known the full story. Historian Jenny Hocking had been fighting for access to the correspondence since 2016 in a lengthy legal battle with the National Archives of Australia. Last year, the federal court sided with the National Archives and declared that 212 letters were private and must not be released. The basic reason that the archives gave us in, in denying my request for access to the letters was a rather extraordinary one, which was to claim they are personal records, mm. which is that the letters between the Queen and the Governor General at such a critically important political time were seen as personal. That decision was overruled when the High Court agreed with Hocking's view that the palace papers were in fact Commonwealth records, which would bring them under the Archives Act 1983. It reasserts Australian law over Australian archives, and it also, in a really important aspect of the decision, will challenge what has been, in other areas, centuries of royal secrecy. 